change the world. <laughs> How come we have so many diseases here in the United States that they don't have in China or India or Africa? Uh, for uh, for two, many reasons. First thing is uh, obviously we are too hygienic. Right? So in some sense, we believe that you know, we're constantly washing our hands with Purell. We are constantly you know, uh, keeping too clean. So our body and our ecosystem is not used to all the organisms. So if you look at the farmers who are living in the farm, they don't get allergies. They don't, get, you know, they don't sneeze in the come winter in the pollen. Right? <laughs> so the point is because they're constantly being exposed to all of these microbiome and your immune system is well trained. So a lot of the times when your immune system is not trained, other thing is all of the GMO food, all the pesticides like glyphosate we are putting on our food that's there to kill the pesticides, to kill the organisms. And once you take these uh, uh, food that is full of pesticides and full of glyphosate, it's killing all the organisms in our body. We're taking all the antibiotics, it's like throwing a uh, nuclear bomb inside your body, not only gets a bad guy, it gets every single organism. As you know, if these organisms are dead, we become un, you know uh, we become unhealthy so thing is when you when as a host our guests are not happy we our body is at unease that unease is what we call disease the disease is we call disease because the more data we have the better the artificial intelligence is and the whole community and whole society is going to benefit from not ever being sick one final question. What's the next problem that Naveen Jain is going to try to solve? I, if I, as soon as I solve the healthcare problem, I'm going to go out and attack education. And if someone who's listening to it already solves the education problem, then I'm going to go look at creating the abundance of food, abundance of energy, abundance of fresh water, and the problems are many. So I'm not going to be running out of ideas anytime soon. <laughs>